Hey, what's up? Hope you're doing great today. So uh, today we are going to talk about video hosting platforms. So when you're growing your business on the internet, you will require video hosting uh, platforms to host your videos. Not just host your videos, you would also like some additional features which are uh, which uh, uh, should be available when you are uh, hosting any of your videos for whatever purpose. It can be a sales video, it can be a, uh, a lead capture video, it can be anything. All right. So YouTube is good. YouTube is more of a public platform and it doesn't give uh, these additional features which are required for uh, marketing or promotions. So there are these private platforms that I'm going to talk about. Uh, there are about there are many out there, but these uh, I, I'm going to talk about just three of them. And these three are like amazing. And I'll show you the features that these three things have. And uh, you can uh, uh, you'll get an idea of uh, how good these things are. And I'm also going to tell you which is the platform that I use and why I use it and uh, how it can also help you if you're looking to host any of your videos on uh, uh, the internet. Before we begin, if you have not done this already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, follow my channel. I create uh, videos on uh, tips, tutorials around designing, marketing and basically on how to grow your business on the internet and everything that has to do with that. So if you are an uh, entrepreneur and if you are somebody who is looking to grow your business on the internet, then uh, you will find a lot of uh, interesting and important uh, information in this channel or just now even in the future as well so don't forget to hit the subscribe button all right so that's it uh, let's move on and i'm going to show you what are the different uh, video platforms that are available and uh, what are the different features how do they differ and which is the one that i use let's go All right, here we are. So first, let's quickly talk about YouTube as a video hosting platform. It's a it's a free uh, uh, platform and it's a public platform. The only uh, drawback with YouTube is it doesn't give you those additional features, the features uh, which is required for any online marketer or for somebody who's, you know, creating sales pages, lead pages online. So YouTube doesn't give that. Now, if you host any of your uh, sales videos or lead videos, lead page videos or any videos right uh, which is uh, for promotion and marketing in youtube what can happen is when the video ends right see this is one of my video let me just go over here when the video uh, ends this is fine once the video stops playing that is right it youtube will start uh, showing suggestions like these right and uh, a person whoever is watching that person might be on your lead page and looking at your video and that person can click on anything else and just uh, get distracted and move away from your page that can happen and uh, another thing you see they there are other ways as well you can also make it unlisted and do it but when you do uh, unlisted the only problem with that is uh, uh, it's just going to be a video this is going not going to be any other uh, uh, features added onto it okay so not a platform that I would recommend for uh, for your uh, marketing or for your uh, promotion especially when you're trying to promote any of your digital products or courses or anything like that okay it's good for influence building it is good for uh, building your community it is good for uh, you know sharing knowledge and things like that it's a great platform and uh, you can also you know uh, it can also give you additional sources of income so use youtube for that right for anything to do uh, anything to do with the selling any of your products uh, then i would highly recommend you use a uh, private video hosting platforms all right so let us go to the first one which i uh, recommend and uh, this is not something that i use i have used it before and it is also for free all right they have a free plan as well they have a paid plan as well so you can try out the free plan and if you are not uh, happy then you can move on to the second video hosting platform if you're not happy with that then the third it's completely up to you okay if you like it you can just subscribe to their uh, they have a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription you can subscribe and start hosting your videos over there and when i mean when i say hosting use those platforms only for hosting your videos uh, which you're going to put in uh, lead pages or in uh, sales pages 
uh, or any of your course pages where basically where you are selling or promoting okay rest of the videos can go to youtube all right so let me take you there uh, the first uh, site that i am going to take you to it's called uh, vimeo all right here we are this is uh, vimeo uh, the link is in the description and you will also find the link on my right over here so you can go to that uh, link that's a special that is my special link that i got from uh, vimeo it's an affiliate link all right so once you go to that uh, link you will reach this page and here there will be two options one is see plans and one is join for free so i would highly recommend that you join for free have a look at the dashboard first and uh, look at the different options that are there you will get to use most of the features but however there will be limitations on how much uh, you will be allowed to up upload and maybe some features may not be available however if you are somebody who is like uh, looking to upload just maybe one video for one of your sales pages or for your lead pages then you can go ahead and use their uh, uh, platform okay and it's for free okay you may be able to upload maybe one or two depending on the size of uh, the video if it is exceeding the limit then they will ask you to upgrade and when it comes to upgrade these are the plans that they have they have this uh, 250 gb per year every week you can uh, upload up to 5 gb this is ideal for uh, most of the marketers because uh, who who is looking to just upload video for the for uh, for uh, marketing or promotions right you won't be uploading more than 5 gb per week unless you'll be unless you're using vimeo for uploading your course content and things like that then you wouldn't need anything beyond $7 per month all right this is probably if you are hosting all your videos on vimeo then you might go to pro and business and premium all that okay you also have live streaming over here so these are the different things that are there and if you see uh see there is unlimited screen these are the different features that are there this is not uh what is interesting i will show you something so one is video templates you can customize your video templates this is good you can embed it anywhere you can have custom end screens you can customize your video player as per your brand and you can control uh, video speed you can edit videos as well over here and uh, you can also do marketing over here you can do you can post directly onto these uh, social media platforms and uh, you can also add links and uh, call to action buttons and things like that over here okay uh, when the video ends towards the end of the video you can have a, a call to action maybe a button or a link for the person who's watching the video and it's going to be clickable this is something you can't do in youtube you can do it over here okay in uh, vimeo so that is something that you can do so try that out and uh, uh, you can try the free option if you're not uh, if free option is not giving you enough features then go ahead and upgrade for a monthly plan and try it out see this is the monthly plan which is $12 try it out if you are not happy with the $12 plan you can always cancel it all right but this is used by a lot of marketers across the world and uh, it is uh, good if you are somebody who is growing your business on the internet all right now i don't use this personally because i've already signed up for a different video hosting platform if i had not signed up for that maybe i would have thought of using vimeo or the other platform that i'm going to talk about okay so this is one uh, check this out the link is in the description and the other one is called vistia so again uh, this is vistia.com you have the link is in the description or on the right now same thing with vistia very very similar to um uh, vimeo and this also has a free plan you can sign up for free and uh, use it it says try vistia out for free forever right so you can continue using it however there is going to be limitations and you can see the limitations over here maximum is about 10 media uploads is what it says the number of media files you can upload to vistia is 10 this is the media limit and bandwidth is 200 gb so there are certain restrictions in the free plan however if you are just starting up and if you're looking for a video hosting platform to host maybe 
you know maybe three or four videos of your own then uh, vista is also great just like vimeo and uh, these are the plan comparisons again once you are done with the free plan if you want to get to the 1 tb kind of a bandwidth plan then you can uh, move on to the paid plan as well okay it's completely up to you what do you want it depends on your requirement so you can check the comparison over here and depending on what you're looking for you can go ahead and uh, upgrade okay again like vimeo uh, this uh, even in uh, vistia you can make the videos interactive you can have links you can have buttons you can have pop ups and they can be a call to action towards the end of the video where people can click and that can take your uh, potential customer or your audience directly to your sales page or any page that you want okay all these things can be done using vistia as well all right so these are uh, the plans about 1 2 3 4 i don't think you will require all these heavy duty plans when you're starting up it all depends on what you're planning to do if you're planning to host all your videos here then you might think of upgrading higher otherwise not required you can stick to this 19 dollar per month plan if you ask me which uh, would which one i prefer compared to vimeo and uh, vistia uh this uh, i have checked a lot of marketers using vistia for because it is difficult to download the videos that are hosted in uh, vistia in vimeo you can somehow find a way to download in vistia it is a little difficult i mean it's not that you cannot download you can still download it there are ways it doesn't matter how much you encrypt whatever you want if there is always a way to do it okay there there will be people out there who will figure out a way to download the video but vistia makes it a little difficult to download all right so if you ask me just based on that i would say i would uh, prefer vistia over vimeo it might cost me a little more than uh, vimeo but i will still go for vistia okay and uh, finally the video platform that i personally use and i have been using it for almost a year right now and it works wonderfully well it did give me some problems earlier uh, initially and i got all of that fixed we'll uh, talk about that okay so let's go to groove videos all right welcome to groove marketing suite so uh, here this is called groove cm it was called groove funnels earlier and now they are calling it groove uh, cm it's more of a crm kind of a uh, marketing suite is how they are branding it all right now if i click on this uh, you will see all these different apps which are available in the groove suite one is groove pages these are uh, your you can create um, landing pages sales pages and you can build your funnel and you can build websites you can do a lot of things over here okay so and this is funnel similar to that and group sell you can sell your digital products and you can create your own uh, uh affiliate management uh, place where you can create links for your own digital products and share it with people and when they sell they make commission out of your product you can do things like that you can promote other products which are hosted uh, in groove uh, which are hosted by which are uploaded by members of groove okay and groove mail this is a this is very similar to convert kit or aweber or get response any of these emo, email automation or auto responders i haven't tested this yet so i do not know i don't want to talk much about groove mail as of now i have tried groove pages groove funnels it's the same thing they just have two different links over here okay and these are these this is great you can build great looking sites and uh, uh, groove also hosts the website i haven't used groove sell to be honest groove affiliate uh, i have uh, been using uh, groove affiliate i am promoting other products i am promoting groove and i am also promoting uh, another product called as uh, click designs all right so those two i have been promoting and uh, groove mail not so much groove member i just signed up to groove member and started using it uh, just about last week okay it's i have this is more of a course platform so like teachable or a thinkific uh, something like that so you can have your own website you can have your own personalized 
platform and in this platform all the videos are going to be taken from group video and then you have group video which we are going to talk about and group blog is more of a, a blogging place group cart is like shopify and group webinar like what it says and mobile app to get uh, all your datas and all on your phone i don't use it much i don't use group webinar as well group cart i haven't started using it and uh, group blog i don't use it again group video i have been using it a lot so let's go to group video so in uh, groove videos uh, this is how the dashboard looks all right now if i go to storage settings if you are i have used 24 gb so far out of 100 gb this is what i get uh, this is what you get when you upgrade your uh, free subscription to a paid subscription you can sign up to groove video for free and it gives you all the features that are available for free and uh, but you'll be only be able to upload up to 15 videos which is quite a lot actually if you are uh, uh, if you are promoting any of your courses or any of your digital products okay so once you touch 15 then you can decide on what to do you can either upgrade or you can uh, maybe shift to something else but here is the thing uh, with groove videos it's not a monthly plan it's a one time fixed plan and it's a lifetime uh, access and you get access to all these things for that same amount. I had paid about, I purchased this about two years ago. I think I paid around, I don't remember, maybe about 75,000 rupees. That is, that comes up to somewhere around thousand dollars, you can say. And the amount of money that it can save you uh, compared to other platforms out there which is going to take you uh, which is going to make you pay on a yearly basis or a monthly basis it's like it's like just a lot okay and uh, if you're somebody who's looking to save your money then i would highly recommend you go ahead and sign up to groove video sign up to groove groove platform for free use all their features all the apps and uh, once it reaches a limit and if you like groove then you go ahead and upgrade okay now here, if you see 24 GB is what I've used, they have their own, this is, uh, uh, if you want to connect your own storage, then you can connect to Amazon S3 storage here, you can do that. I'm not doing it because I let Groove handle my video storage and there is also video encoder, okay. So uh, you get video encoder for free along with the Groove video platform, so you don't have to worry about it. However, if you want to connect an external thing there are these two things that you can connect to all right that is that 100 gb for the premium plan and uh, if you're not in premium plan up to 15 videos okay so this is the library let me take you over there and these are all these different videos that i've uploaded see these videos what i've done is i have uh, embedded youtube video into this because i wanted some of my youtube videos to show up in my course as some additional uh, tutorials all right so these are the ones that i have uploaded in uh, groove video now if i click on edit so this is how it looks uh, once there will be an upload button here it's not showing up right now so you once you upload it the video will come up over here okay and you can play a video you can preview it to see how it looks this is uh, one of my courses on how to create gif for ads and promotions now you can create your category and you can add a description you can put in your brand colors i have kept it blank i wanted it transparent i can change it if i want and then i can add a theme there are these different themes that i can add there is this youtube theme and there is this uh, vimeo theme and there is vistia team when you do this what will happen is the way the video player looks right it will pick up themes from Vimeo, youtube or vistia okay i keep it at default because uh, i'm sorry i use the vimeo theme mostly this okay i like this a lot so i keep it like this now you can add a thumbnail i haven't added a thumbnail to this i have added thumbnail to a 
a different course. This is a design lab course, so I haven't added a thumbnail, but you, you can use add thumbnail. You can choose whatever you want. You can pick up one of the thumbnails and you can uh, add it, okay? You can also watermark your video, like a logo or something on top of the video if you want. And you can position it wherever you want. And there is an end action over here, loop or just end the video, okay? This is okay. Now, if you go to settings, these are the different settings which are there. There is fixed and responsive. I usually keep it at responsive. I want my video to be responsive when people are watching it on tab, laptop or phone, right? I keep it responsive. And then there is show controls. If you don't want to show, you can uncheck it. You can all these different options over here. Default play button or you can upload your own icon. You can uh, select these uh, different animations like zoom in, things like that, right? Show overlay, title, video elements. This is the interesting part. You can have opt-in forms, you can add banners, you can add text overlays on the video and you can also have CTA. This is what you get with private video hosting platforms. This is something that you don't get with YouTube. You get similar kind of options in Vimeo and Vistia as well. You also get it over here. So uh, if I click on this CTA, right? So I can go over here and I can put a text. I can put a button text. I can put a URL and uh, select this if I want it in uh, open a new, new tab. And I can choose the uh, time where I want this to be displayed. It says display from, put in a time and display it, put in a time within the video and it will start, it will display that uh, call to action. And when someone clicks on it, it goes, takes them to a registration page, lead page, sales page or whatever it is, okay? So this is a interesting thing. And then we have uh, links and embeds. Now I usually use this embed code, okay? And then there is video hosted page, and source file URL as well, okay? I mostly use this because when I use this, it becomes a little difficult for somebody to download my video. Uh, downloading video is when you are in, um, when you have created your course, you might have spent a lot of time creating, a lot of hard work into creating your course and you don't want somebody to just download it and share it with everybody, right? So this, makes it a little uh, difficult it's a little difficult to download it's encrypted even with vista it is like that now having said that there will always be people who will go that extra mile to figure out how to do it how to download it and they'll download it there's nothing much we can do about it but if you do this it's going to make it a little difficult even for them all right and once you have selected all these options you do save and next and that's about it it is done and then you can go to your, see this is my course platform. So there are a couple of courses that I had uploaded recently. So if I go to Canva Designing Mastery. So these are all the different uh, modules. So if I go to any of the module over here, let's say access now, shows a video. Now this video is I didn't have to embed this. I can, because it is in Groove itself, I can directly select it from, uh, you see this? Video library. I can go over here and I can just select. Select and uh, select here and that's it. It will be done. Okay. All right. And then uh, save it. Okay. Sorry about that. Anyway, so that is how a Groove video works, okay? Now, here is uh, the link if you are interested in signing up for Groove video. It is for free, you can upload up to 15 videos, okay? And you not just that, you also get access to all these different apps. So here is the link, it's on my right. Go to that uh, link and there are a couple of links there. One is for Asia and another one is for the rest of the world. So depending on which country you are in, go ahead, uh, choose your link and uh, sign up to Groove, try it out and see how amazing it is, okay? Like I said, I, I can um, 
confirm to you that group pages group funnels it's the same thing and they are amazing they work really well the rest of the things i haven't used much group member is good i just started using it last last week group video is uh, pretty amazing i have been using it for a year now and works uh, flawlessly okay and on top of that i even like their support they are uh, very responsive and if there is any if there are any issues with anything send them a, a mail and they will get it fixed or they will tell you what needs to be done so those are the three amazing video platforms that are available out there and used by marketers across the world and uh, i told you what i use group video that is my go to video hosting platform right now and i highly recommend that you test it out as well okay here is the link and uh, let me know which one uh, you liked and uh, which one would you like to use for uh, your work as well in uh, comments okay and if you found value out of this video make sure you let me know in comments and also hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel to get uh, more videos like this and if you're an entrepreneur looking to grow your business on the internet also don't forget to check my website i have some cool stuff over there and uh, also some uh, courses which can help you in uh, your journey as a online entrepreneur okay so that's about it for today thank you so much for uh, watching this video i value your time and uh, this is santosh here have a great day